Welcome to the ninth video in the Metric Math Water Wastewater YouTube series. This video will focus on how do you find detention time, flow rate, and volume. Detention time, when we're talking about detention time, it's a term that uh, some people just don't catch on to, but the basic definition is the time required for a certain amount of water to enter or leave a tank at a given rate of flow. So the formula for it is detention time is basically the volume of the tank divided by the flow rate. The first question we're going to take a look at is a tank or a reservoir measures 4 meters long by 5 meters wide by 3.2 meters high. It's filled by a pump that's rated at 42 liters per second. Find the detention time for this size reservoir. Notice in minutes. So you got 42 liters per second is your pumping rate. You have to find the detention time in minutes. So there's going to be a conversion later on. So the first step that we take a look at, step one, is identify the keywords. Four meters long by five meters wide by 3.2 meters high. So that's the first thing. We've got to know the volume of the tank. Well, you got to know the dimensions of the tank. Second thing you need to know is how fast does the pump fill or empty this tank. And we found that it is at a rate of 42 liters per second. That's your flow rate. Now, we're supposed to find the detention time notice. You have to be specific. Is it minutes? Is it seconds? Is it hours? Like, what's the detention time? And that is what we are specifically looking for. Step two, we have to find the volume of the tank in cubic meters and liters. Now, why do we have to find it in liters? Because our flow rate is in liters per second. We have to have those common units later on. Formula for this particular tank, you can see it's a length, a width, and a height, so it's got to be a rectangle. And put the numbers in, so 4 meters times 5 meters times 3.2 meters, and that gives you a volume of 64 meters cubed. Make sure you put the units in. A lot of people will just take 4 times 5 times 3.2. They won't put the meters in and they just assume that it's liters, but it's not. You have to make sure you put the units in so that you know when you can stay and when you have to convert. In this case, remember that there's a thousand liters for every cubic meter. So 64 meters cubed times a thousand gives you 64,000 liters. Next step, now that we have the volume, we need to set up the formula and then solve for it. And the formula is detention time, seconds, minutes, hours, equals the volume. And remember the volume and the flow rate have to be in the same unit, in this case, liters. So 64,000 liters, notice, divided by 42 liters. And the units cancel out. And look what's left on the top, what unit didn't get canceled out, seconds. And that is a unit for time. So that's a good sign. The detention time is calculated out to be 1,523.8 seconds. And if we take a look at the detention time unit, it's in seconds, but we're supposed to find the answer in minutes. So we've got to do a conversion. Now, when we convert seconds to minutes, we start off with our 1,523.8 seconds, and we have to do something to that. And notice, we want to get rid of that seconds in 1523.8, so you have to divide by seconds, or one minute per 60 seconds. The units cancel out quite nicely, and notice the detention time unit that's left is minutes. That's what we're looking for, so because our unit worked out properly, we're pretty confident that the math is going to be good, and that works out to be 25.4 minutes. Summary. When we're looking at these the important formulas for this section is detention time equals volume over flow rate. Now, if you flip that around, then flow rate, bring it to the other side of the equal sign. Instead of dividing, it now becomes multiplying. Flow rate times detention time equals volume. And then if you flip it around once more, then flow rate equals volume over time. Flow rate, a certain quantity of volume divided by a time. So that's a nice common way of looking at it. Last but not least, make sure that you are keeping track of the units when you are doing this so that the units cancel out properly and you're going to end up with the unit that you want. Good luck. Thanks for watching this math video. Please check out the other videos in this channel and put in some comments and pass this site on to other water and wastewater students who might be struggling with their math. Good luck for now and have a good day.